Hi, this is semi-prepared, but anyways, um, my dad was uh, disciplining the cats who were on the table, and uh, he said to my mom, that's what you gotta do, right? You gotta, like, be really strict with them. You gotta, you gotta be really brutal. He didn't say brutal, I'm paraphrasing. He's like, you gotta, like, really yell at them and say, like, you know, show them who's boss, and then they learn. But maybe their brains are too small and they don't learn. That's what my dad said to my mom about the cats. About teaching, that they, they're young cats, he's teaching them not to jump on the table. And it took me back to my childhood. So, uh, <laughs> so I was like seven years old and I had scraped my knee or something. Or I, I think it was probably, I had gotten a cut on like that part of my arm something like that, like, not, uh, not self-harm or anything, just, you're a kid, you get cuts and scratches and stuff like that. And I, I, I had a Band-Aid on, and, it ha you know, there was hair on my arm, so maybe I was a bit older, I don't know. But I said to my dad, Dad, can you just, I, I don't know how to do it, but can you just, like, slowly peel back the Band-Aid so it doesn't hurt? And he said when he was young and learning about band-aids and peeling back with the hair. Um, he liked to just rip it off because when he ripped it off there was pain and then the pain was gone and so he just ripped off the band-aid. So that made me think with the cats and when I was a baby when I was a young disobedient toddler or what have you I got in trouble, I ran around and screamed, and he ripped off the band-aid! And made sure I didn't run around and scream. And there was pain, but then the pain was gone. And I didn't run around and scream. And then when I was 18 years old, I got into some trouble. I was sent to the mental hospital and ripped off the band-aid! And I experienced the mental hospital. <laughs> <laughs> and then later, I was brought to the mental hospital again. And the doctor said, Oh, loving father, what diagnosis does your son have? And my father, it is written, it is written on the form, I saw it later. He wrote that I had schizophrenia. So in that sense, the band-aid was ripped off. <laughs> and should I had been formed in that hospital, you know how they treat schizophrenia. And his idea was, when I get older, when he dies, someone else will be caring for me. Someone else, say my diagnosis was depression, and I start misbehaving because as a young child I misbehaved and the band-aid was ripped off. And I learned not to misbehave. But still I wanted to run around and scream. So my father, my father saw this in me. He saw that when I played music, I played it too loud and he would Bang is louder than that, trust me, louder than that, on the table. Say, so don't play that music too loud. The band-aid was ripped off. <laughs> so he, sa he sees me in the future. If I had the diagnosis of depression, and some manipulative woman came into my life and cared for me, and she said, oh, you're misbehaving. And she, she manipulated her way into sending me into the hospital. 
and slowly over time through the subtle coaxings of the doctors I would go from depressed to bipolar to schizophrenic. So my father ripped that band-aid off for me and I'm a schizophrenic now. And I know what it's like to be in the hospital as a schizophrenic. But my father's a nice man. He never made me live on the streets. Yet. <laughs>